guys welcome back to my kitchen tonight's video is going to happen as it does I've never made this recipe before but <clears throat> I've been dying to try it out so if you're interested in seeing how I cook a low-carb keto version of Chinese food fried rice then just keep watching coconut oil a fresh cauliflower a packet of chicken breast tenderloins, soy sauce, a can of mixed vegetables if you would like that inside the rice, and I have some leftover bok choy uh, that I got steamed the other day from an actual Chinese takeout place. You're also going to need several eggs depending on how eggy you like your rice. So what I did was I cut up my cauliflower into bite-sized pieces. I tried as best as I could to make them all even because we are going to be putting them in a food processor and we're going to mix them up and chop them up into rice-like bits. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. see I literally riced up the entire head of cauliflower and it looks like rice <laughs> looks like a vat of white Chinese rice in the bowl here and um, I cannot wait to see how this comes out so let's move over to the frying pan and start cooking up our protein so to my pot here I added one tablespoon of the organic coconut oil from Trader Joe's and I chopped up the chicken tenders, as you can see, into tiny little bite-sized pieces, perfect for the fried rice. So once this coconut oil melts, guys, I'm literally, all I'm doing is putting the chicken in just to get the edges a little bit browned up because we don't want to cook it fully because we're going to be adding the mock rice in there and everything else, so we don't want to overcook the chicken. So into the pot goes our chicken. Yowza! <laughs> if I can get it all in there, it would be good. Come on, there's one piece stuck. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to, like I said, saute this up just a little bit, get it browned, and we'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, the chicken is not uh, translucent anymore, and that is a signal for me to add in all the rest of the ingredients. So we're going to dump in... The can of mixed veggies, we're going to saute that up a little bit, along with the bok choy. All right, we're going to stir that up a little bit and cook it. Now, I'm not adding any salt to this, and the reason I'm not is because we're going to put soy sauce in there, and you guys know soy sauce is loaded with sodium, so I'm trying to keep the sodium low. I did rinse these vegetables off as well, and... Um, we're going to saute that up just for a little bit to get everything heated. And then we're going to add the fake rice <laughs> to the pot. All right, guys, so into a little frying pan next to the big pot here. I'm just going to scramble up some eggs because what we'll do is once we're done with everything, this will be the last thing to go inside of it. We're going to scramble it up really well because, as you know, fried rice has a little bit of egg in there. So basically... It's just a scrambled egg. All right, so stand by and watch it happen. Okay, guys, so we're adding in the fake rice to the pot. And then I will be adding the soy sauce. Now, you could do as much as you want. Clearly, you're going to want quite a bit. You want it to be saturated but not overdone. So we'll start with this first. We'll stir it up and let's see what we are in the process of doing. And really the cauliflower at this point literally will cook fast because it's so chopped up and so small. But if you're ever craving a starchy fried rice, this is the way to go. Now I would also suggest adding some broccoli to this, which I did not have. Um... Yes, there are some carrots in there and whatnot, but, you know, when you ration this out, you're literally not getting anything to be concerned about. I will put my mark on that statement. And it looks like we need a little bit more soy sauce, so into the pot, a little bit more will go. <laughs> 
Don't worry about this particular brand. It is the Kikkoman brand. There is no added craziness to it. So feel free to use it nice and liberally. Because like I said, we have quite a bit in here. Now I'm going to raise the heat up a little bit in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm just going to continue to stir this. And I'll be back in just a second once we add the egg. I'll show you how that goes. In the meantime, the egg is nicely scrambled, and when we're ready to put this into our rice, I'm going to cut it up in little pieces. All right, guys, so we're back, and we're about to add the egg. This has been cooking for roughly three minutes, so I'm going to add the egg to my pot, and let's give that a stir. Again, I would definitely add some broccoli to this so that you have some more greenery to it. Um, <clears throat> But I have to tell you, my kitchen smells like I'm in a Chinese takeout place and I can smell the soy sauce and the chicken and everything. I mean, it really, really looks to me like fried rice, a big pot of fried rice. So I'm going to let this go for just another minute and then we're going to plate it up and you're going to see my final reaction. <laughs> Alright guys, so I am taking a spoon and I am getting myself some of this fried rice. I can't wait to taste it. I'm only going to have two of this size spoon in my little bowl here. To me that's a serving. It's got chicken in it, egg, vegetables, and I'm going to sit down and take a bite and let you see what I feel about it. <laughs> I'm a little stammered here because I'm really hungry. All right, guys, so we're at the finale, and I am going to taste this fried rice right in front of you, and I will give you my honest reaction. Here goes. Wow. Guys, seriously, no joke. Fried rice with chicken. Unbelievable. I'm taking another bite. It's all done. Wow. I am really impressed. Guys, make it. You're going to love it. It's awesome. Um, I don't even know what to say other than the fact that I want to go and eat my bowl of fried rice. <laughs> so I hope you make this video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope I did it justice. And, um... Really, I'm just wanting to go now and eat, so. I will see you in my next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, thumbs up, the whole nine yards. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.